in this video you are going to be learning how to set up a proxy chain in Kali Linux to be completely anonymous but first very shortly let's understand what are proxy chains suppose this is the IP of my machine and this is the IP of my target server in this example suppose this is company A now for example if I scan the server of company A of course I will learn information about the server but at the same time the server will also learn information about me the information that will be registered in this server is the from field this server will know from where this server is getting the request from so if they check the logs they will get to know that this request came from my ip which was 1.1.1.1 and with that information they can easily locate my ip and track me down in order to avoid the situation what can i do is between me and this server i can set up a proxy server proxy server just will take my request and forward the same request with the ip of the proxy server Suppose in this case the IP is 2.2.2.2 Now even if this server wants to track me down They will know the IP of the proxy server and not my actual IP When you use VPN, VPN also does the same thing VPN uses a proxy server As you can understand by now, there is a problem with this method The problem is, if they really want to track my location down and legal authorities are involved They will get to know that my request was first forwarded to this server And from this server, my request was forwarded to this server So only one server they have to check what I can do now is to make it more difficult so it is harder to find me. I can now set up multiple proxy servers between me and company A server. Now this method of putting multiple proxy servers between me and the target server is known as proxy chains. In this example, suppose my request from 1 will first be forwarded to 2, then from 2 to 3, then from 3 to 4, then from 4 to 6, then from 6 to 7, then Finally, the request will be forwarded from 7 to 5, which was the final destination of company A server. If you set up proxy chains, it becomes much, much, much more harder to find your actual IP address. It's because these servers will be separated geographically. Suppose this server might be in India, this might be in China, this might be in Vietnam, this might be in Germany, and so on. You can put how many proxy servers you want between you and the destination. And that is the idea of proxy chains. So. Let's go back to our terminal and see how we can set up proxy chains in our Kali Linux. To set up proxy chains, you need to have proxy chains and Tor package installed in your machine. This comes pre-installed in Kali Linux, but for some reason, if you do not have them, install it by typing sudo apt install proxy chains space Tor space dash y press enter i already have it pre-installed in my system to check whether you have it pre-installed in your system or not for proxy chains type in proxy chains and press enter if you get this output it means it is already pre-installed in your system and for tor type in tor and press enter and if you get this output it means tor is also installed in your system i will clear my screen now we have to make changes to the configuration file to find the file type in locate proxy chains and press enter copy the first line for you, the name of the file might be different. For you, it might be proxychains.conf. It might be in a different directory too. So you should only copy the first line. I'll clear my screen. Now open the file with a favorite text editor of your choice. Type in sudo, the name of your text editor. I'm gonna be using mousepad. You can use nano or vim2. Paste in the path to the file. Press enter. In this configuration file, I can see dynamic chain, strict chain, round robin chain, and random chain these are the types of the proxy chains in my opinion the best is the dynamic chain it's because dynamic chain will go through each of the list of the proxy servers and if there is a dead proxy server it will skip it and automatically go to the next one unlike strict chain strict chain will go through each of the proxy servers one by one and random chain will just randomly assign a proxy server so we have to enable the dynamic chain to do that just remove the hashtag in front of it make sure all the other types of proxy chains have hashtag in front of them i can see that strict chain did not have a hashtag so i put hashtag in front of the strict chain and commented this line out if you come from a programming background you might know that putting hashtag in front of any line will comment out that line and it will not be interpreted as a part of the code so just to confirm again i removed the hashtag in front of the dynamic chain and made it enable and I cross-checked the strict chain, round robin chain, and random chain have a hashtag in front of them. Next, scroll down and find the line where it says proxy DNS. And if you have a hashtag in front of this line, just remove it and make it enable. 
enabling it will also forward your DNS request through the proxy server. Beginners often make this mistake that if they do not make it enable, then even if your IP changes, they can find you with your DNS data and they can know your geographical location. So please make sure this line is uncommented. Next, go to the end of the file. You can see here, you have an example of how to add a proxy server. Here, this is the protocol. This is the IP address. This is the port number. This is the name and this is the password. Here in the protocol section, HTTP, as you're aware by now, is for web communication and it's used for browsing only. You can use it with Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. SOX 4 and SOX 5 are used in Tor network and you can use it with InMap and other applications too. IP address is self-explanatory. This is the IP address of the server. This is the port that will forward the request and if the server requires a username or a password for authentication purpose these are the fields i can see i have already one added which is socks 4 so the difference between socks 4 and socks 5 i will not get into it right now but understand this that socks 5 is better and more faster than socks 4 so i will add socks 5 here and press tab i should follow this format and type in the loopback address 127001 and the default port for the SOX communication on the Tor network, which is 9050. Now this way of adding the loopback address with the SOX5 will provide the most anonymity, but this method will be slow. But this is the hacker's way of doing it. If you want to add your own proxy servers, you can go to Google and type in free proxy server list, press enter, go to the free section and choose any one of the link. I will go for this one. Geonode is a good example. From here, you can see the protocol SOX4, SOX5. You can also see the IP address. You can see the port. Fill this lineup with this information. So this would be SOX4, tab, this IP address, space, this port number. And this is how you can add your own proxy server. In this video, I will not do this. I will show in a later video how to add your own proxy server. For this video, I will only be using the Tor network. And I'm done making the configuration changes. Save this file with Ctrl S and quit this file. Now you're all set. Type in sudo systemctl start tor and press enter. This will start the tor service which will connect your application to the tor network. By the way, this has nothing to do with the tor browser. This is just a service which will connect your application to the tor network. To check whether the system is running or not, type in sudo systemctl status tor and press enter you can see that my service is now active and running now type in proxy chains the name of the application i'm going to be using firefox and the site that you want to go to i want to go to google.com so i'll type in www.google.com press enter it is a little slow at first wait for the page to get loaded now type in what is my ip address press enter and if i just go here any of the link I can see that it is showing me that I'm from Brazil I can tell you for a fact that I'm not in Brazil right now and if I stop the service clear my screen and type in sudo systemctl restart tor and press enter type in the password for my machine and similarly again do proxy chain firefox google.com press enter and type in what is my IP address press enter go to the same link again i can see in a matter of seconds it is showing me that i'm in mumbai india right now so this is how proxy chains work this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching please do not use these methods to do any illegal activities